Day seven of the 12 day soccer challenge. Today, I want you to take on the beep test. Now, it doesn't matter what score you get. The most important thing is that you actually do it because just me saying those words, fitness test, 95% of people are not even going to try. It does not matter what score you get. What matters today is that you have the mental toughness to actually do it. All right, so check this out real quick. I'm not supposed to have a camera in here actually, but I'm gonna sneak this in for you guys. But I just set up some cones right here and some cones down there. And this is about 27 strides. I did a search on Google and it said 20 meters is about 27 strides of the average human being. So whatever your stride is, just make sure that you make it the same every time. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this up in the corner and hopefully no one gives me a hard time and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay. So I recorded myself running the test and only took about 11, 12 minutes and I put it on super speed here so it's gonna take off pretty quick. But I just wanted to give you a few ideas so you can progress at a faster rate, get better results and improve your stamina. So first of all, if you saw my Snapchat, the first time I did this, I've only done this two times to date, but I'm gonna keep doing it every Friday and I want you to do it with me if you really wanna improve your stamina. But the first time I did it, I got 11.7. The second time I did it was 11.11. .11. Not as big of an improvement as I wanted, but moving in the right direction and I'm gonna do even better next week. But a few ideas. So first of all, the beep test starts really slow. So I want you to conserve your energy in the beginning. Don't sprint to the other side and then wait as long as possible. Jog there and try to get there so you have time just to turn, take a deep breath, and then go in the opposite direction. Instead of sprinting, resting, sprinting, resting, getting yourself unnecessarily tired before you have to because the intensity is going to pick up and you're gonna have to sprint back and forth. So while you can, jog it out, focus on keeping your breath nice and calm. Next thing is starts. So that first step, really make sure that your first step is a nice, strong, powerful step because as you progress with the test, it's so important that you do have a quick, sharp start. If you don't, it's going to take away like a half a second, which can make a big difference when the speed really starts increasing for this test. Focus on your breathing and your running technique as you are doing these short 20 minute, or sorry, 20 meter runs eventually sprints but really focus on your running technique and your breathing and focus on the sprint don't don't think about the test and the voice in the on the audio saying 11.1 11.2 11.3 and you thinking oh i just wish you would get to 12. just focus on one sprint at a time and that will allow you to block out the unnecessary thinking about the future and just focus on the present focus on making the most of every single sprint and just doing the best that you can now it's really important that you focus on the beeps and the speed of the beeps because they increase as the test goes on and they even increase on each level so for example when it's at 7.1 it may be a little quicker at 7.7 .7. and what i was saying in this video when i i actually i think i say it after this little clip is I didn't get as good of a score as I wanted because I lost my focus. It wasn't that I was totally out of breath and I couldn't run any longer. It's just that I didn't realize, hey, wait a second, the speed actually increased. I had to go faster. So the first time I did the test when I got to 11.7, yeah, I was like really out of breath. I was out of shape. But the second time I did it, I just lost focus and I, I, I kind of realized like after two beeps, I was like, hey, wait a minute, I'm just beep and I'm in the middle of the, of the 20 meters. So really focus on the speed of the beeps because they will increase. So you gotta make sure that you're keeping up with the speed as it increases. The last thing I wanna say is if you have the option, do this on grass. It's always better to run on grass. It's just better for your knees, your joints, your body. Anytime you have the option to run on grass as opposed to a gym floor or pavement, take the grass option. And just one more thing, don't worry about my score worry about your own score. So hopefully your score is better than mine. I hope your score is better than mine. And I hope you realize that it doesn't matter that you're better than me, or it doesn't matter if you're worse than me. All that matters is that you're doing better each week and you're improving your stamina each week. So if you're feeling scared and afraid of doing this and you think it's gonna be really challenging, just do it, just put yourself through it. Honestly, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you can't put yourself through 10 minutes of pain, then you don't deserve to have stamina. You don't deserve to be a great player. So take those ideas into mind when you're running this test. Whew. 
So I beat my time from last time. <laughs> Wasn't as good, I kind of lost focus at the end there. I was just focusing on my running. I didn't realize the time really picked up and I think I could have got a bit more. But I beat my previous, which is 11.7, which is pretty bad, but I hadn't ran in three months. And this week, 11.1. So all you can be happy with is progression, not perfection. So just keep trying to beat your own score. Don't worry about my score. Worry about your own score and just try to beat that.